Each cut has to be meticulously planned. A careful feat of engineering to shear off pieces of twisted metal debris into smaller, more manageable chunks that can be hauled away by cranes and barges. It's a slow-moving, dangerous operation, and there's still no best guess yet on when the cleanup is going to be complete. This is going to be a very complex process. There are even now forces acting on that steel, so it takes a lot to make sure that it can be dismantled safely. The short-term goal for now is to clear out one specific area of the wreckage site, with engineers zeroing in on the north end of the bridge. This will eventually allow us to open up a temporary restricted channel that will help us to get more vessels in the water around the site of the collapse. As all of this is taking place, the crew of the Dolly cargo ship remains on board. The vessel is running on generator power and the living and eating quarters were not damaged. They're also reportedly cooperating with investigators who are still trying to determine exactly why the ship lost power, setting out on its fatal collision course. The conditions are still too difficult to resume the recovery mission for the missing victims, the four remaining construction workers presumed dead. It's been days now since divers have been able to search. They've scanned all the safe areas outside the bridge debris and as close to and inside the bridge debris as they can. Uh, they just don't feel it's safe anymore because the places they need to go, they can't get to. With the cleanup ramping up, meetings are planned for the week ahead to get emergency aid to local businesses and the thousands of dock workers who remain in limbo for the foreseeable future. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.